<laughs> Zanzibar was hungry. He prowled around the cave, looking for sardines, bones, scraps, anything to take his mind off the empty feeling in his tummy. He was restless, and he couldn't get my attention at all. I had my nose deep in my cauldron cookery book, and I wasn't at all sure what I was looking for. Zan scratched at me and meowed. He always does that when he wants something. I think he thinks it worked when he was a kitten, so he tries it on now. Usually, he just talks like any other witch's cat. What's the matter? I asked him, wishing he wouldn't bother me now. Not when I was finding out what I thought I was looking for. Dratted tadpole Zans, I said. Can't you see I'm busy? Now, which came first? Fish and chips? Or chips and fish? Zanzibar looked at me as if I'd told him he'd won the lottery. Fish and chips, he said happily. Yes, Hecate, that's exactly what I'd like. Fish and chips. I wasn't offering you dinner, I said. I just wanted to know which came first, the fish or the chips, or if you like, the chips or the fish. I like, I like, squealed Zanzibar, jumping up and down and running round my legs and tangling his tail, which he does often. Well, dear friends, what was I to do? Reluctantly, I put down the book and took my broomstick. Zanzibar, I said, if you want fish and... But I couldn't finish my sentence. Zanz already had the door of the cave wide open and was heading outside to jump on the broomstick. I followed him. Where shall we go for fish and chips? I asked him. England, he said. The Best fish and chips in the world are British. I had to agree. So off we flew into the night. It wasn't a long trip. Spellbound is wherever you want it to be. So once we decided on England, we flew from night into day and soon the coast of England was below us with the famous white cliffs of Dover gleaming in the sun. We landed and there by the sea was a big sign, Best British Fish and Chips. We went in, and if the people there were surprised to see a green-faced witch and her cat looking at a menu painted on the wall above our heads, they didn't say anything. How British! Cod, place, haddock, rockfish and flounder, what a choice! Zanzibar had a big piece of cod with chips, and I had haddock with chips, and it was scrumptious. We both laced the fish and chips with vinegar, British style. Now, I said, as we headed for home, let's fly back to the cave and plan another adventure. But Zanzibar was already stretched out along the broomstick, purring gently, but it wasn't really purring. What he was saying was fish and chips, chips and fish, fish and chips, chips and fish. And he fell fast asleep. Want more? Click here. Every week, love from Hecate. Click to subscribe. For more adventures of Hecate and Zanzibar, click here. Like us and share with your friends. Say goodbye, Zanzibar. <laughs>